you know, I take my jury responsibilities very seriously. Uh, you know, because I feel like it's not just, I'm not, I haven't stopped playing, right? Like, I have my vote, but it's also, I'm still wrangling the vote. Uh, I feel like it's my responsibility to make sure the correct person wins. For me, it's easy. The person who played the best strategic game should win. And by best strategic game, I mean the person who took the most risks and the person who, as an individual, was taking a leadership role in strategy and direction of the game. So being attached to a great player doesn't mean a whole lot to me. I need you to have made moves or have been working independently of other players to advance yourself in the game. So I, I believe that the key argument, and an argument we're going to hear quite a bit tonight, is an argument about timing. Uh, you know, clearly David was the power player uh, in this game. If David made it to the end, he was going to win a million dollars in a landslide. Uh, and I think we as the jury were frustrated that David didn't go sooner. Like, the move was to take out David. Uh, so I think, uh, you know, what Hannah will say was, you know, I kept David until the last final moment and then took him out because keeping David around provided a shield. As long as David in the was in the game, I was in no threat. I was in I was no threat to leave. Uh, so I secured my position in the end by keeping a threatening person around and getting rid of him at the final moment. Uh, and I think that's what what Adam will say as well. Um, Adam obviously made an earlier attempt to take out David, uh, but timing will be the argument. And who can take the most credit for voting out David will probably win a million dollars. You know, Hannah and I <clears throat> had quite a tumultuous relationship out there. You know, Hannah and I parted ways because Hannah didn't want to be my goat. She didn't want to play in my shadow. And what was frustrating for me was to, at least from the jury box, was to watch Hannah play in David's shadow. So for Hannah to get my vote, I need Hannah to be able to articulate how she wasn't playing in David's shadow, what moves she made and took a leadership role in, and was the driving strategic force. And if she can articulate to me how she was driving strategy and not riding David's coattails, Hannah will have a shot at getting my vote. Uh, and, you know, Adam, on the other hand, I sort of saw how hard Adam was playing. For Adam, though, he, he was playing, but he wasn't always playing well. You know, Adam, to his credit, did find two idols and played two idols, Neither one had any effect on the game. He played two idols incorrectly. Uh, and he had many plots and schemes, right? Uh, from the early days of the Millennial Tribe, he was trying to rally the votes to get out Figgy, and, and that didn't work. And he uh, was trying to rally the votes to, get, to bring Taylor in to vote out Jay, and that didn't work. And he ultimately became the accomplice to the banana chip theft fiasco of season 33. So I did see David, or I did see Adam blazing his own path, but he was never very effective until the end. You know, he failed at voting David out before he got David out. So I think you, you have to weigh these things. You know, I weigh someone whose game I did see very visibly, but wasn't maybe the greatest game, versus someone whose game I didn't see, and it will be, am I convinced, who is able to make the better argument in the end, right? Who do I believe was fighting harder uh, to the end? Ken's argument, and if he, if he can find it, maybe he'll, maybe he'll win a million dollars, is that, you know, he deserves as much credit as Hannah and Adam for voting out David, uh, and that that credit should be split three ways, and that you have to look to the, the rest of the, the, the strategic game, and maybe that there's, you know, that Adam you know, maybe Adam doesn't deserve much strategic credit, and neither does Hannah. And then Ken doesn't deserve any more strategic credit. So if all, if the strategic game is a wash, if, right, if we're all tied strategically, then Ken had a dominant physical challenge performance, and he made camp life very nice for people. He, you know, caught fish, and he cooked, and he did a lot of work. And that's a very, like, old-school criteria for Survivor, but, you know... If no one, if the strategic game is a wash, if no one's winning the strategy side of the game, if no one is winning the social side of the game, if everyone's sort of meh on everybody, then I think you revert to an old school paradigm of deciding a winner of Survivor, and Ken wins that by a mile.